Some of these elements cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, even for just a single gram. In a microscopic amount, some of these could level cities. Number 10, gold. Though gold can be found all over the world, it is still very rare. So rare that all of the gold we have mined in history could be piled into just three Olympic-sized swimming pools. Unlike many natural elements, gold does not arise from Earth's crust either. It is present on Earth because of cataclysmic stellar explosions called supernova. A supernova is a powerful and luminous stellar explosion that occurs during the last evolutionary stages of a massive star. The supernova's shock waves propel its elementary debris through the interstellar medium that condenses into new astronomical bodies. So the gold that denotes wealth to humans is not actually from this planet. Though the cost of gold is never static, and some people like to use it to hedge against economic collapse, at the time of this recording, gold is valued at one gram for $47. Number nine, rhodium. Rhodium is the second rarest metal in the Earth's crust after osmium and is estimated to be three parts per billion in the universe. Its rarity affects its price and its use in commercial applications, but rhodium metal is rarely used by itself, it's usually used as an alloy. The primary use of this element is in automobiles as a catalytic converter, changing harmful unburned hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, and nitrogen oxide exhaust emissions into less noxious gases. Meaning without rhodium catalysts, the air quality in our cities would be much, much worse. Rhodium is also a part of the filters in mammography systems for the characteristic x-rays it produces. With a more than 30% jump in prices so far this year, rhodium now costs twice as much as gold. Despite that, it hasn't attracted much attention from investors. So if you have some money to invest, go get it as the price is never going down. Number eight, platinum. Platinum is yet another extremely low reactivity metal. It has remarkable resistance to corrosion, even at high temperatures. Our planet has very little platinum in the purest form as it forms an alloy with iron very easily. So much of the platinum that was present in the initial phase of our planet has gone down into the iron core in the middle of Earth. For the last 100 years, this metal has been worth more than gold, but because of the active development of industry, the price of platinum has declined and actually sits lower than gold. You can now grab one gram of platinum for less than 30 bucks. This might be one of the best investments you could make considering we are moving towards the so-called hydrogen economy. What is the hydrogen economy? Well, in the future, people are going to use hydrogen-based fuel cells to run their cars, and it is platinum that is going to be a major catalyst for the reactors. Every car will need lots of platinum, and we will not have enough of this precious metal. Number seven, lanthanum. Though lanthanum is not quite as rare as the other metals on this list, it is certainly one of the most reactive among rare earth metals. This silvery white metal is so ductile and malleable that you can literally cut through it even with a knife. The most common use of lanthanum is to make carbon arc lights, which are used in the motion picture industry for studio lighting and projector lights. Lanthanum also makes up about 25% of Mish metal, a material that is used to make flints for lighters. As discussed earlier with the hydrogen economy, lanthanum can be a crucial factor as lanthanum can be used in hydrogen storage, literally sucking up the hydrogen and using it as a fuel source. The current market value for a gram of this remarkable metal is around $64. Number six, lutetium. The last addition to the rare earth metals was lutetium. This metal was independently discovered in 1907 by French scientist Georges Orbain, Austrian mineralogist Baron Karl Auer von Welsbach, and American chemist Charles James. They fought about who got to name this valuable metal. However, Urbane won out as he had published his results earlier. Because of production difficulty and high price, lutetium has very few commercial uses, especially since it is rarer than most of the other lanthanides, but is chemically not very different. However, stable lutetium can be used as a catalyst in petroleum cracking in oil refineries. 
That's why lutetium is the most expensive element that you can actually order and purchase. The price for 100 grams of lutetium is around $10,000. So from a practical standpoint, lutetium is the most expensive element. Number five, scandium. Scandium is a very light metal. Its density is around three grams per cubic centimeter, which is a lot lighter than most metals. Copper is nearly 10. Tungsten and gold are closer to 20 grams per cubic centimeter. This is why scandium is so pricey, because sometimes you want to use a metal, but you don't want the object that you make to be very heavy. Titanium also gets used more commercially as a light metal, but when it comes to scandium, the aim is slightly different. Scandium tanks are the best places to store hydrogen gas, which can later be burned to fuel a hydrogen-based engine. Currently, the main application of scandium by weight is in aluminum scandium alloys for minor aerospace industry components. Some sports equipment, which relies on high-performance materials, has also been made with scandium aluminum alloys. This includes baseball bats, lacrosse sticks, and even bicycle frames. As scandium is so rare and offers significant industrial applications, the price of this metal is $270 per gram. Number four, plutonium. Plutonium was first discovered on December 14, 1940 by a team of American researchers at the University of California in Berkeley. Although small amounts of plutonium exist in nature, the best way to obtain large quantities of the element is in a nuclear reactor, in which natural uranium is bombarded by neutrons. The uranium-238 is transmuted into uranium-239, which rapidly decays, first into neptunium-239, and then into plutonium-239. Plutonium is mainly used as a fuel in nuclear power plants and in making nuclear weapons, like the dreaded atomic bomb. Plutonium isotopes are highly radioactive, but the radiation is in alpha particles, which only travel very short distances and cannot penetrate human skin. But if you were to inhale these isotopes, they can cause DNA damage in tissue, which then boosts the risk of cancer. So don't go eating plutonium pellets. Currently, you need about $4,000 to acquire one gram of plutonium. Number three. Carbon. Carbon is known as the element of life, but what does that really mean? The simplest answer is that carbon is the basic building block of life. Carbon is so important to life as virtually all molecules, sugars, DNA, proteins, and fats in the body contain carbon. We are literally made of carbon. So if you want to think of human life as the most valuable thing on Earth, then in a sense, carbon is priceless. But in the actual marketplace, there is another type of carbon, one that is very, very pricey indeed. The hardest known substance to humans is diamond, which of course is also carbon. This particular type of carbon is extremely expensive, as we all know. Maybe not in exact terms, but one gram of diamond can cost around $65,000. Number two, Californium. Californium is the second most expensive element in the world, with an estimated cost of a mammoth $27 million per gram, which makes perfect sense, as the global annual production of this man-made radioactive element is only 0.5 grams. Californium was first discovered in 1950 at the University of California Radiation Laboratory in Berkeley by bombarding curium with alpha particles. Since then, only a few grams of californium have been produced. It is one of the few transuranium elements that has practical application. Most of these applications exploit the property of certain isotopes of californium to emit neutrons. For example, californium can be used to help start up nuclear reactors, and it is employed as a source of neutrons when studying materials with neutron diffraction and neutron spectroscopy. Pretty intense. And now for the number one most expensive element in the world. But first, if you're liking this video, be sure to hit thumbs up, click subscribe, and turn on notifications, and speak up in the comments. What's the most valuable thing you own? Gold, diamonds, or something else? Number one, francium. 
The most expensive natural element is francium, one gram of which will apparently cost you a billion dollars. The cost of this element comes from the fact that its half-life is only 22 minutes, which means it decays so quickly that it cannot be collected for any productive usage. The billion dollars per gram price tag is completely theoretical, since one gram of francium has never even been observed. With that being said, few atoms of francium have been produced commercially. The biggest amount was a cluster of more than 300,000 atoms. However, this cluster, or even a gram of francium, would disappear within moments of its creation, so at the moment, there is no practical application for this element. There are people out there that might have billions to spare just to get a glimpse of this element, and scientists could produce it just for that reason alone.